Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and are we surprised I'm about to kick off a Nightmare Legacy Challenge in this way, but it's really not looking good for a mozo. We have a broken house, a broken career, and now also potentially a broken relationship. I thought these hardships were over. I thought after all of his days of dating and honestly being very unlucky in love, because it really felt as if he fell for a lot of people that didn't fall for him back. We met Juniper, we settled down, we had a kid, we have the life, you know? We're making it work with what we've got, even though he has been hoarding fixer upper parts that I've had to sell to get our money actually back up to like decent like livable amount in this game considering our rent is like every two weeks at 900 simoleons however today they both got a notification saying that they're feeling very unsatisfied in their relationship if you're mean to me whilst I feel this way I may have to break up with you he also has a brand new fear just add it to the collection at this point he has so many fears I'm surprised he even steps outside the lack of connection is causing dread of solitude encourage your sim to nurture their relationship or learn to enjoy their own company remember being alone doesn't have to mean being lonely and then he's also unsatisfied I think the root of this issue is because they have been trying like their best to like make this work they were both in it they were like look the that career isn't working even though you've pumped like a lot of money into it I just don't see it going great like let's just get part-time jobs so that we can spend most of the day with our kid we want to give him the life even if we can't like provide like loads and loads of money stuff for him you start work work I'm talking to him like he's the grandpa. He doesn't start school till eight. So he is gonna head off to school. I'm sorry, I cannot be bothered bathing my animals right now. We have bigger fish to fry. I'm gonna have him continue to make friends. Um, She is feeling very sad from the extreme dissatisfaction. Juniper can't get her mind off her failing relationship. While very unsatisfied, the romantic relationship with her partner will fade more quickly oh my god yeah I forgot about that it's gonna actually decrease our romance bar like that it's actually feckin' told me because I've never ever seen it written in writing what being like actually unsatisfied does. I know being satisfied gets up your romantic relationship even if you're not interacting with a sim, but nowhere in the game before has it given me this moodlet. So thank goodness for that. Finally, clarification that it does actually go down if you're not feeling great. But obviously just another pushing factor kicking us in to uh, most likely uh, couples counseling so that's what we are gonna be uh, doing today we're gonna wait till juniper comes home we're gonna talk about our relationship fears once again especially now that we're both unsatisfied and then i think she's just gonna like straight up agree to go to couples counseling i kind of want this or oh, is he still working on it? Yeah, he is. Okay, it's excellent quality, even though our kids started on it sloppily. Honestly, kind of nice to see uh, Mozo taking control. I, for one, am very much here for this. Oh, how sweet. Juniper really appreciated receiving such kind attention from uh, Mozo. That affection makes her feel extra special. Sure, you can like affection. Oh, and I think that actually cured that fear. Finally! Oh my goodness. No, if I can... I swear, that was... Olive ringing us being like one of my friends got your number. No wonder she is unsatisfied and has relationship fears because even though this man's like love... I was gonna say making days. <laughs> Scandal days, I guess you could say, are uh, in the, the past. He still gets like calls from so many people being like, hey, my friends heard great things about you. Can I pass your number on to them? Like he is a hot commodity. Thank you very much. Even as an elder, he is wanted. Uh, we're gonna say natural leader. I kind of want him to have bad responsibility. Not gonna lie, I call it character building. Is it part of Cupid's Corner? Go to Cupid's counseling 
with Judah Pearl. A thousand simoleons? Is that going to be a thousand simoleons a pop? Because we really, girly, do not have the funds for that. I'm just going to throw it out there. This may be our one and only session. It may be our first and last because we absolutely cannot afford to be popping out a thousand simoleons every week, actually. <gasps> Tomorrow is Winterfest. Let's start with you, Ermozo. Close your eyes. Look within. What feelings are you sensing? I'm feeling confident. I'm okay. I mean, he is very confident right now. It's good to hear you're feeling well. Let the feelings wash over you like syrup on pancakes. The spongy bread of your relationship can soak up the gooey positivity and provide you with years of delicious happiness. I like how they're talking about pancakes as if the pancakes Pancakes on one of the most toxic couples that we... I don't even think they're toxic, you know? That's a little bit unfair. I just think they're mismatched, you know? I just think they would be happy in queer relationships and that's all I'm gonna say. How about you Juniper? How are you feeling today? I'm happy and I know it. I can't complain. That's so great to hear. Soak it up Juniper. Life is chaotic dance. Time is a weird soup. Our motivations ebb and flow like the wind. We must take care of ourselves first and foremost before we can devote ourselves to others. Start getting to know the person within Juniper. Let's get to the root of some of the issues. What are you having trouble with? Attraction, romantic satisfaction, romance dynamics or romantic relationship. We're gonna say satisfaction. The main reason I'm here is because I just don't feel Mozo gets me anymore. I tried to open up to him and he just shut me down. Girl, he was having relationship fears. Not that I am protecting a man, don't get it twisted, but he is my man. Vent to each other or ask for each other advice. Let's put away the claws. There's no need for anger in this conversation. If you two can't learn to talk to each other, I'm going to have to put both of you in the corner to think about what you've done. Oh, calm down, Taylor Swift. Which one of the developers is a Swifty? Because there's so many. Well, this therapy appointment didn't go exactly as I would have hoped. You two need serious work. I'd like to continue to keep seeing me once a week for a while. We will or not on your life, quack. Oh, you think I'm a quack? Well, this is just your opinion. I'll have you know, I spent the required number of years at the University of Brychester, and I have my degree in psychology trickery. Trickery? I could have worked in many dubious industries, but I wanted to work for the good of humankind. <gasps> therapy is a scam. That therapy session was a complete waste of simoleons. Not him being a therapy hater. Oh, and we're still dissatisfied. Should we ask her like what she likes? How is she feeling? I'm so sad that she's feeling dissatisfied. I feel like we should probably have a little a little bath after that. Go take a uh, relaxing bath, Emozo. Your old bones need it, bro. You're still a handy person at your big age. Like you are carrying on that little broken back of yours. Ooh, she needs to be creative. She actually is in her uh, midlife crisis. I didn't think she was. View or admire three artwork pieces. Sell three paintings. View tragic clown. Knit for three hours. Girl, we can't be out frivolously spending money. 350? That is still frivolously spending money. Especially when our child is addicted to collecting marbles. Honestly, me. He is me. We are the same. Oh my god. And painting costs money. Why does everything cost money in this game? It's just like real life. Who said Sims 4 wasn't an act accurate life simulation because they were lying. Oh wait, there's loads of stuff that we can get rid of in his inventory. No way, this cannot be happening. Look at their romantic relationship. Oh, that is so bad. That's one of the worst I've ever seen. That therapy of blues, guilty sentiment. And Mozo and Juniper are in therapy together and it's tough. Will this be able to save their relationship? <gasps> This is so sad. They were so in love. What the heck has happened? Not Love Shrug getting its own back on me. I really said I don't think Love Shrug like lives up to the hype that I had in my mind. And it's just like, oh, you didn't think I was dramatic enough? You didn't think I was serving? Let me show you what I can do. I love how he changes his handyman outfit every day. He's really on top 
of the cleaning. For someone who doesn't have a washing machine, he's like, I got this. Everything doesn't seem to be going Juniper's way. The fears that these Sims have is absolutely wild. I am single-handedly ruining their life. And I don't even mean to. Genuinely, I'm just driving them to all of these fears. I feel so responsible, even though I haven't even like tried to do any of the things that they are currently suffering with. We need to, oh my God's sakes. Why is, literally, why is everything so expensive? I was like, I kind of want a Windfest like tree. Um, but I don't know how expensive that is going to be. Let's look up tree and see um, if I can find it. 190. Okay, that's really not as bad as I was imagining. Guy just hangs around the neighborhood. He's just, he's just a guy. He's just that guy, you know? He's just always there when you need him. Let's go play for keeps with, I'm fairly sure I have rode to nowhere twice. I like bought two accidentally. Bess is calling us. Oh uh, my God. Yeah, he would absolutely donate one simoleon to Bess a hundred percent. You telling me this kid wouldn't be like an extra opportunity for me to waste my parents' money? Let me do it. You all love it until it's your own money that you have to spend when you get to like teenagehood. Place your bets now. What's the like Likelihood that the uh, Winterfest tree is gonna go up in flames. I'm gonna say, honestly, for this family, pretty high. It's not happened since we've lived in Sulani, I don't think, but I definitely think it could happen this time around. <gasps> oh my God, that's gone even worse. In the time that he's been out of the house, we're full red in love with him. I mean, by in love, I mean absolutely not in love whatsoever. He's gonna come home. He's still feeling confident. We are gonna try and sweet talk her a little bit. See how this goes when they're both feeling unsatisfied. They do still have good compatibility though, and they are still engaged. Like they haven't called off the engagement. I think this is glitching because we just like zoinked Zoinked? Zoinked up there. We're now on Romance 7. This definitely seems like it's a visual glitch. I feel like people have spoken to me about that. <gasps> He's now romance level three. I'm fairly sure other people have seen that glitch within the games. I literally had a conversation with someone on Twitter the other day about like a similar sort of glitch. I mean, I did want to start the tree today, but geez Louise, this marbles match is taking an age. Your father's going to be dead and gone and buried by the time you finish this marbles marbles match oh <gasps> high risk led to high reward for the sim bask in the victory acquired a new marble as a reward but did he did he really no these are just the ones i'm fairly sure that he bought today so that is still glitched but let's go decorate with ornaments we will do let's do yellow and white i feel like i never do it and guys sorry but you're not invited to the family festivities i need to bring my parents back together he's literally just taking himself off to bed what a little grumpy old man. Oh, thank you, guy, for sorting my house out. You uh, watered my trash plant for me, and now you're taking out the rubbish? A delightful young chap. I have to say, I feel like you're having a very good influence on my son. Um. Okay, well, his parents have both given up. Poor Cornelius, dude. In his little Christmas jumper, he just wanted this to be a happy little holiday, and I don't think that that's what he's gonna get. He's giving Sasha energy, honestly. Call him Fancy Simmer. This is three, two, one. <gasps> Didn't set on fire. That's when you know it's gonna be a good winter fest. I saw him in the mirror and he saw that he was in the room. I was like, guy, not now. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging. Did he just steal? I think he just stole a toy from me. He opened my toy box and then why is she not sleeping? Oh my word. The winter fest tree might not be setting on fire. Who was this? Which... I don't even know you. Usually it's like, why were you cooking, bro? You're a fucking ghost. 420, great. Doesn't even cover anything in my kitchen. Absolutely love that. The fire's been put out, yeah, by me. 
Uh, I mean, thankfully, we can feed our cow plant. I cannot believe that ghost just ruined me. I do feel like I manifested that one. I feel like I brought it upon myself by talking about fires too much. This is not what I needed. Cursed, a string of unfortunate events have been set in motion. Starting to feel a lot like a curse. You know what is a curse? This challenge. Time to play detective and locate the cursed culprit. Or you can call the property owner to sort out the issue. Cornelius has a loose tooth. Oh, you know it. This kid is just gonna full on pull it out. Like, raw dog it straight away. Yank it out of there and place it under your pillow when you go to sleep tonight. And it's also Winterfest, so who knows? Tooth fairy, tooth berry, whatever the hell they're called in this game, might be feeling even more generous, although I doubt it looking at our family funds and knowing the crisis that our parents are currently going through. And then we're gonna open some presents. I am honestly kind of scared to see what presents can be under here. I swear every single present is just gonna be like dog poop for everyone. There's gonna be so much coal and so much dog poo. Do, do, do. And there's the jaunty little tune to remind us that it is in fact Winterfest. Oh my god, I did not put these ones up. Ew, why did it look like that? Who decided? I bet it was Auntie. It feels like an Auntie kind of scenario for her to do that. Oh my god, look, he stood over the presents. He's absolutely buzzing. Get excited, little dude. Little man, welcome to your first Winterfest. Oh, what if his first Winterfest, uh, you know what? It would just be like on trend for him. I was like, what if it ruins him for the rest of his life? I uh, wouldn't even be shocked. Why? You came in, you put that down, then you complained about how smelly it was. Like, I don't, <gasps> there it is. I don't even need to do, I'm not gonna lie, fully forgot that the uh, curse thing was, oh my my god there's a fire there's a fire how is there a fire where is it <gasps> what's on fire there is that just because it's cursed oh my god he stood right in it if this breaks my tv i may genuinely throw my computer out of the window like that may potentially be something that happens. We are gonna mail away that curse book. I kind of don't want to destroy it. I just kind of want to see what happens. I've never seen the curse book. I've never had this event before where I have this. So I'm kind of wanting to like explore it. Destroy the cursed book. No better way to deal with the curse than to get rid of the object causing it. Be wary of any consequences or mail away. This could be some other Sims problem, right? Well, wish you luck as it may come back to you. Karma is the book in the post. <laughs> Mischief level three. And what a great job you do at taking care of cursed book. As a result, the unit rating went up and we got 125 simoleons. Right, let's go open some prezzies together. I was gonna say you would think they're a happy little family, wouldn't you? But she just stormed off. We got owed to jazz. Oh. Ooh, that's a piece of art that's actually gonna help her with her midlife crisis she definitely just gifted that to him with him thinking that was just a really nice gift but really it was just for her Oop, what did you get little guy <gasps> he got bluffy okay that's quite cute i'm kind of a fan of that oh you're coming back you're getting jealous of the boys opening up their presents are you can you fix your face? Put on a smile for your child. Oh, no. This is Winterfest. I wonder what she got. If she gets pet poop right now, uh, Mozo, it's so over for you. She got a Pause Anonymous Pets Award. What the heck is that? Uh, one present each. I mean, yeah. It makes sense. It does make sense. After all the money issues that we have been having, it makes sense that we only get one present each. I feel so bad. But you know what? At least we can continue to provide for our pets. And our son, he's happy. He's still just like cleaning up. He's like, parents, don't worry. I am gonna help you out. And guess what? 
a little bit later, he'll get to meet Father Winter. His life is gonna be made. We're gonna give our mum the light green tassel. He's like, you know what, mum? I've been in your bedroom. It's really not a fun place. So why don't you take this little tassel to decorate with a little bit? And then he's gonna give his dad, because he knows how childish his dad is, a little marble, even though he can't play with it. Honestly, maybe he is able to play with it because he's a childish sim. Oh no, apparently he can only watch. Oh, he's fuming. He's like, why would you get me this? I can't play with it. Uh, we need to replace that. And then he is gonna go cook a grand meal. We are going to have a turkey din. Let your love for mother nature's creatures shine for the world to see. As proud pet owner, you deserve... You know what? That's actually quite sweet. The fact that he probably got this for her as well to be like, you're such a good like dog mum. Like, I really, oh, I really love that about you. Stop, I'm gonna cry. Why are they little cuties? How is it only 10 a.m.? Honestly, it feels super realistic, actually, to Winterfest. This truly feels like Christmas. We're gonna put up his little certificate for it from the Tooth Fairy, even though the Tooth Fairy hasn't been yet. Cow plant's still good. Honestly, shocked that the cow plant has lasted this long. She's actually gonna put that above her on like her side of the bed. Oh, that's cute. Then she's got a little decoration up there as well. I actually don't think I've ever witnessed a more accurate winter fest. Our first turkey went bad. Like he just forgot about it. Um, But we finally have our turkey dinner so let's um can we call to meal oh no i don't want to what did they say they adopted a dog let's do uh, a song over the turkey together and then all uh, grab a serving let's not sabotage the food with spicy peppers i don't need my kid carrying any more baggage thanks very much I do love that we're all stood in a little line. They really said tallest to smallest. Oh, even the dogs are joining in. Catfish said, let me get all up in that sing song. Biblically accurate. That is how long Old Lang Syne feels. He has to go eat in front of the TV. I thought they were all gonna eat it in front of the TV, but no, he's gonna watch Lost Dog's journey home. Uh, these two are gonna try and flirt with each other honestly i don't know how well that will go sure she can be a love bug right can father winter just get here please and thank you no cam i don't want to go over to your house right now we're celebrating family time everyone's dressed for Winterfest. he can sniff him a mile away we already found him he is making his way over to us very very slowly but let's go and get Mm, we'll we'll give him a friendly actually i kind of want to give him a tomorani introduction i think he'd be really excited to share that with father winter giving us presents to open for the next few weeks of this legacy challenge thanks very much don't call him trash bro we are going to ask for a present off him oh and of course he gets on the white cake trend dad stop distracting me stop showing me up in front of Father Winter. This was the whole reason I didn't ask if we could go to his grotto. I didn't want to sit on his knee and have you embarrass me. Please do not give him coal or pet poop. I beg of you, Father Winter. Do not do this boy dirty like that. He looks up to you so much. He's already been through so much. I cannot see his little heartbreak if you've given him anything bad. Oh god. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. I mean, what was it? Oh, we got another Blaffy. The fact that he just had to fake that he was into it. Oh uh, my goodness. I kind of want everyone to ask for... <gasps> Should we have him fight? Should we just have him do it? Oh my god. No, this is... 
He's really not going to be a fan of this. I saw Daddy fighting Father Winter. Oh my god, I've never noticed that his cloud smoke around him is red. How very blumming festive. Not him witnessing it with his own four eyes. I'm sorry, that was so out of pocket. I love his glasses. I'm allowed to say that as a fellow four eyes. That was so 90s coded of me. <gasps> Look, his whole his whole world is being burst. He's heartbroken about this fact that he has to witness it. Oh, not the witnessing it through an open door as well. I feel so sorry for him. Oh, I want to just give him a cuddle. Full of good stuff. Received a few presents in his inventory. Bestie, what did you get? You got Hopper? Oh my god, we didn't even have to buy an easel. That's great. We're gonna sell that straight away. A lump of coal? <gasps> Don't worry, that was your dad's gift. That was your dad's gift. That wasn't for you, bestie. It absolutely wasn't for you. Oh, that's like a little, I feel like that might be for your mother or father as well. Maybe you don't wanna open that one. A romance festival, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Um, why don't you blow those bubbles though? Feel uh, like you need it. Feel like you need some form of joy again. Why does he look like Jojo Siwa? Anyways, we are gonna wrap up here after that absolute emotional roller coaster of a winter fest. Of course, Timothy has decided to join us. That is my cue to leave. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Honestly, he may be a teenager the next time you see him. I don't even know how many days he has. He has four days until he ages up. Probably gonna be a teenager. Probably gonna be getting into some trouble with Guy. They ask, who was that troublemaker? They say, that was just Guy. Thank you all so much for being here and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.